Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about teddy bears and this can actually be applied to a lot of things like people, ducks, teddy bears, just about anything that's living. And we are going to focus today on, it's more of a workshop kind of thing, where it's a study of the different ways to create the face, the head, the position. Instead of starting with just the basics, even though we need to do that, I thought it'd be fun to do this first. And that way you could have a little bit of time, if you wanted to, to practice on these. So instead of the way I usually make the videos, this one's really a little more rough. <laughs> it's, like I said, kind of a workshop. So without further ado, let's get started and have some fun creating. To begin with, if you'll notice in the top about center, I've put some reference images up so you can see they're not an exact match to what I'm creating, but pretty close. And on the right, I am drawing just some basic head shapes. And you'll see I'm doing it in pencil, the center part, I hope you can see it. I am putting the basic position where I'm going to draw the features of the face. And I just did the one that's at a little bit of an angle. First one was just straight on. And now this one is at a little bit of an angle as well. But you can see where it's a little more of a profile, a little more to the side. And so is this one. This one's pretty much the same, just even a little bit more so. There we go. Okay. On the left side, far left, it just says, what is the basic shape? And I have two lines, a straight one and a curved one. And if you look at the teddy bear below, it echoes the straight shape. And that's usually how I start what you see here when I make my images. I will put one light line in pencil, giving me the basic shape of the entire body. But we are focusing today on just the head. And I do basically the same thing with that. I'll create the shape of the head first, and then I go in and create the angle where I want the head, looking up, looking down, to the side, whatever it is. And those little light pencil lines are a great reference point, which I use all the time. So I strongly suggest you do that. You don't have to, but it really is helpful. All right, now moving on to drawing the features. On this first image, it is a frontal view, just straight on. And we make this little line going across the face, around the center. That is the division of the upper and lower half of the head. And that is where the nose sits and the eyes rest on top of. It adds a little sense of dimension where the eyes will appear to recede a little and the nose comes forward a little. It's just a helpful tool to use. You don't have to, but it really is helpful. Now on to the next one, which is kind of a three-quarter view, which means you're looking off at an angle. I'm putting little marks, trying to point where it is in space, but it's hard since it's two dimensions. But it's at this angle, and I'm drawing the nose first, which I oftentimes do. Not always, sometimes I drew a horizontal line. And then putting the eyes in where I feel they belong. Using the nose as a reference point, the eye that is closest to you will appear to be further away from the nose than the eye that is furthest from you. Now, I hope that was clear. It sounds kind of confusing when I say it, but Hopefully it's clear. If not, please comment and let me know and I'll try to explain it differently. Now let's do the one that is looking up. You can see where the line that I've drawn that goes across the face is really higher and its curve is a little more so. And the nose sits way up high on top of that line, which creates the impression that it is looking up. So that little line is really quite helpful. And you can also see that on the eyes, you don't see the bottom part of the eye because the widest part of the eye meets that horizontal line. So it gives the impression 
in once again that the face is looking up and I gave the mouth a different shape I gave it a little open look which has a different emotion attached to it and we'll talk about that part later now on to the next before we get started on this one I just briefly wanted to mention that if you want to at any time take more time to draw just hit pause draw and then hit play again and I'll be here when you get back all right continuing on this is another three-quarter image but it's a little bit different it's more angled than the one we did previously and it's also looking down just a bit more but those are only subtle differences on this one I wanted to talk about the placement of the ears whenever you're at a three-quarter view the ear that is closest to you you will most likely see the entire ear and the ear that is furthest away from you in the background you will only see a portion of that ear now on this little teddy bear I wanted to focus on its eyes it has its eyes shut it might be napping or just blinking and you can see that just going from a dot or an elongated dot to a horizontal line maybe with some eyelashes makes a whole different feeling or appearance to the image and didn't put any lines in aha okay on to the next now we are going to do this little teddy bear who is very youthful and I'll talk more about that in just a minute it's looking down and when you have that kind of a situation that gives you the opportunity to put the stitching or the line where the stitching is if you are drawing a actual teddy bear instead of a real bear well that kind of doesn't make sense because none of these are real bears since they're drawings but anyway um, <laughs> okay that didn't work back to reality here and you can see between his ears there I've had another line and that's because this teddy bear is a teddy bear it's a stuffed animal and so I made the line where it was stitched together okay now let's talk a little bit about the differences between an older face and a younger face more adult compared to child and baby okay on the left side will be the adult on the right side will be the baby or child I'm putting a vertical and horizontal line approximately in the center of both faces on the adult draw the nose right about where the crosshairs are and you can put the eyes resting on the horizontal line or close to and the mouth down towards the bottom this will give the adult more of a grown-up feeling when you look at it because it takes up more of the facial area and now a quick mention about the ears teddy bears tend to have smaller ears that are a little closer to the top side of the head now I've experimented and I have found that you can make different size ears on teddy bears and they look great it's all about how you create them and in a future video I'll cover that with you probably can't read my writing on the left I wrote adult on the right baby child and in the center I put center line with the arrows above it aimed at each head now on the baby you want to put everything below the horizontal center line put the nose about a third of the way down past the horizontal line or it could even be further and the baby's eyes will go just about on that same line that is one of the things that really helps to make the face look youthful is having the eyes closer to the nose and you can see the little arrows I've put these arrows are to show you on the adult that the nose is about halfway down the face 
and on the baby the arrow is just showing you that you go further down than the horizontal line and you do not have to draw them this way but it really is effective it does definitely give the appearance of an adult or a child okay I hope that helps explain how to create each one on the next video I will go into more detail about the different expressions and how to achieve some of those different shapes of the mouth the eyes eyebrows that sort of thing and that's really effective and it's a lot of fun okay well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got a lot out of it and we'll have fun playing with this so until next time I hope you have a wonderful day have fun creating talk to you soon much love Olivia